In today's Contract Admin Tip of the Week, we are going to talk about pay for distance learning modules. For the purposes of determining the rate of pay for a distance learning module, or DL, the company's current practice is to capture the date that you finish the last training topic in Ethos regardless of when you sync the Ethos application. Take this into consideration when you have a change in pay rate for longevity as well as for the annual September pay increase that continues through 2020. So, for example, let's say you were due for a pay raise in September. You finish the distance learning module in August, yet you don't sync the Ethos app until September. Because the system knows you actually completed the training in August, you'll only be paid based on the August pay rates. If you finished the distance learning module in one month, but don't sync it until the following month, remember that the rate of pay in effect on the date you finish the module is the rate of pay that will be applied. This is applicable to every pilot in the third quarter as we receive a contractual pay increase on September 1st. If you wait until after this date to finish DL3, then you will be paid at the new contractual pay rate. Remember also that the OGT pay sliver will not show up right away when you sync. It will be posted on your board in CWA on the month that you synced, but it usually won't appear there until approximately the 10th or the 11th of the following month. Tune in next week for another Contract Admin Tip of the Week.